Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel, Math D1A to Science Academy. Uh, today our lecture is related to chapter 5, which is a simple, a linear equations and simple inequalities. Okay, this one, today I'm going to explain to question number 5 of exercise 5a. And so here, let's start the lecture. Part A is 1 by 3x is equal to 7. Part A is 1 by 3x is equal to 7. So here you can see that it is dividing over here. If we go to that side, it will multiply with 7. So here I write down x as it is. Now this 3 is dividing over here. If we go to that side, it will multiply. So this is the rule of the equation that if something is multiplying on one side, it will go to the other side, it will divide. And if something is dividing on one side, it will go to the other side, it will multiply. And if something is adding on one side, it will go to the other side, it will subtract. And if something is subtracting on one side, when it will go to the other side, it will add. So these are four main, uh, basic rules of the equation. So just need to remember these rules in exercise 5a. So here, as you can see that this 3 is dividing over here. So when we go to that side, we multiply. So 3 sevens are 21. This is your answer. Okay, now let's come to B part. B part is 3 by 4x. is equal to minus 6. Okay, so here you can see that this 4 is dividing over here and if we go to that side, it will multiply with 6. So this 3x will remain here. This 4 is dividing over here. If we go to that side, it will multiply. Okay, rule of the equation. So now multiply them. 6 4s are minus 24. So whenever you do the multiplications, for first multiply the signs. Here with this 4, there is no sign. means here the sign is plus. So plus minus is minus. 6 4s are 24. Now, so here you can see that this 3 is multiplying with x. So, apply the rule of the equation that if something is multiplying on one side, it will go to the other side, it will divide. So, let's divide 24 with 3 and 3 8s are 24. So minus 8 is, the, is your answer. Okay, now let's come to C part. C part is 1 over 3x plus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so here you can see that, okay, so remember that here you can uh, do two operations. Here this is division, you can move it over there. But whenever you're having these operations that if something is dividing with the variable and something is adding or subtracting with the variable. So first you have to move the things which are adding or subtracting, okay. Afterwards you have to move to the things which are multiplying or dividing. So first you have to move the things who are which are subtracting or adding. So here in this question 3 is adding over here. So move it to the right hand side. It's adding over here and it will go to that side it will subtract. So 4 minus 3. So when you subtract 3 from 4 you will get 1. Okay, so here you can see that this 3 is dividing over here and it will go to that side, it will multiply with 1. So x is equal to 3. So this is your answer. I hope that it's clear to you. Now let's move to part D. Okay, gee. now part D is 1 y over 4 minus 8. Is equal to minus 2. So now this 8 is subtracting over here. It will go to that side. It will add. Okay. So see. Now plus minus is minus. So you will do the subtraction. The operation over here is subtraction. So you will do the subtraction. When we subtract 2 from 8. You will get 6. Okay. So here you have to write out the sign of the bigger numbers. So with bigger numbers plus sign. So it means that here is plus sign. Now you have moved it. Now it's turned to 4. Then 4 is dividing with the medium. So when anything is dividing, but we go to the other side, it will multiply. So your answer will be 6 4s are 24. This is your answer. Now let's come to E part. Okay, students, E part is 3 minus 1 by 4 y is equal to 2. Okay, so here you can see that uh, this 3 is adding over here. I will not move this because this is dividing with the variable. Now, so I just move 3. There is no sign with 3. It means that here it is adding. It is plus sign. So, I will move 3 up to that side. So, 1 minus 1 by 4 will remain as it is. 3 is adding over here. It will go to that side. It will subtract. Now, we write on this as it is. So, it's plus. Here we use plus sign. Now, so plus minus is minus. So, you will do the subtraction. When you subtract 2 from 3, you will get 1. 
So as I then you have to write out the sign of the bigger number. Here you can see that between 2 and 3, 3 is the bigger number. So with 3 is minus and so put minus and made it like this. Also here you can see that this minus 4 is multiplying over here, is dividing over here. We go to that side and multiply. I, I will also move this minus 1 on that side. Here y will remain as it is. This minus 1 is multiplying with it. When we come to this side, we will divide. And this 4 is dividing over here. If we go to that side, it will multiply. So you will get y is equal to minus 4 over minus 1. So minus and minus will cut each other. So the value of y is 4. I hope that it's clear to you. Now let's move forward to f part. So this was f part is 15 minus 2 over 5y is equal to 11. Also here you can see that this 15 is adding over here. So when we go to that side we subtract minus 2 by 5y is will remain here. So this 15 will go to that side we subtract. So write on minus 2 by 5y as it is. 11 minus 15 is plus minus is minus. So you have to subtract 11 from 15. So you will get 4. When you subtract, uh, subtract 11 from 15, you will get 4. Also here you can see that you have to write down the sign of the bigger numbers. With bigger numbers, minus sign. Remember that at then you have to write down the sign of the bigger numbers. So you write down minus. Okay, so now this minus is multiplying and this 5 is dividing over here. So I will use minus is multiplying and we go to that side, it will divide. And this 5 is dividing over here, we will go to that side, it will multiply like this. So you will get minus 20 over 2. Minus and minus will cut each other, 2 1s are 2, 2 10s are 20. So the value of y is 10. Also, I hope that uh, question number 5 is clear to you. Okay, G. now let's move forward to question number 6. Okay, question number 6, solve each of the following equations. Part A is x is equal to 12 minus 1 over 3x. Okay, so now we have to find out the value of x. Now, so I'll keep the variables on one side. x and x on one side and the constant on the other side. So, it means that I will move this x term over here on the left hand side. So, this term, x term is subtracting over here. It will come to it's this side. It will add like this. And on this side, you write on constant as it is. Okay, so here you can see that there is nothing in the denominator, so you can put 1. Okay, so remember that here you have to take the LCM. You can see that whenever you are having fractions, it means there is a plus or minus sign. So you have to take the LCM. You have to choose the least common multiple. So least common multiple in the table of 1 and 3 is 3. So you will go on 3. Okay, there is another method. You will just write take the LCM of 1 and 3 like this. 3 1s are 3. So the LCM is 3. You will see in this table which term 1 is 3, 3 times we multiply the numerator with 3. Now you will see this denominator which term 3 is 3 is 1 times we will multiply the numerator with 1. This is how you do it. There is another method in which you have to make the denominator same. By, for example, if this is 3, you can make it 3 by multiplying this numerator and denominator with 3 by using the rule of the equivalent fraction. But here I have used the method of the LCM like this. So uh, let's do it now. 1, 3's are 3, 3, 1's are 3. Now multiply these numerators, 3x are 3x and 1x are x is equal to 12, right 12 as it is. 3x plus x is 4x, right on the denominator as it is and is equal to 12. Okay, so this 3 is, multi, uh, this 3 is dividing over here, if we go to that side, it will multiply. So 4x is equal to 12, 3's are 36. So when this 4 is multiplying with x, if we go to that side, we will divide. So x is equal to 36 over 4. So x is equal to 4 9s are 36. So the answer is 9. Okay, what I did in part A is I have kept the variables on one side, then I solved them with LCM, and then I just simplified them like this. 
I hope that uh, part is clear to you. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these sums because when you do the practice, that this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much, and Allah Hafiz.